there is. Let's go in, have some, have a good time. ahead on Inside the PGA Tour. We hit the West Coast as players runner-up Paul Gordos takes us on a tour of his hometown, Long Beach, California. It's in Long Beach, you just as far as the eye can see, you can't beat it. We'll swing by Long Beach State University, where the two-time PGA Tour winner joined his alma mater's Hall of Fame more than a decade ago. Being a member of the 49er Hall of Fame, it's a great honor. Again, we've had so many great athletes here at Long Beach Day to have this thing on the wall. It's pretty special. And we'll make a stop at our host's favorite watering hole, Legend Sports Grill. Plus, Carl Peterson closes out the PGA Tour's regular season in style with his third career victory. Carl Peterson, winner of the Wyndham Championship 2008. And the field is set for the PGA Tour playoffs for the FedEx Cup. We'll tell you who's in and who's out as we look ahead to the Barclays. All that and more next on Inside the PGA Tour. In May, the world's best gathered on the PGA Tour's biggest stage, TPC Sawgrass for the Players' Championship. When the curtain came up on Sunday's final round, 43-year-old self-described journeyman Paul Gordos stole the spotlight. For three days, the two-time PGA Tour winner had pieced together a seven under par total, claiming the first 54-hole lead of his 16-year career. During a roller coaster final round, Gordos made the turn in two over before a miraculous birdie at the par 4 10th right at the ship. But a late charge from Spaniard Sergio Garcia. That's a field goal. Ole, ole, Murph. Ole, ole. Coupled with Goidos' bogey at the 72nd hole, forced only the second ever sudden death playoff at the Players' Stadium course. After Goidos found the water at the infamous par 3 17th, Garcia prevailed with a clutch shot for the ages. The long wait's over for Sergio Garcia's big win. He's the Players' champion. 2008. This is Long Beach. You got the port over here, which is not the prettiest site in the world, but it is the busiest port in the world, my understanding. The beach is long. You can't see from one end to the other. And I hate to break it to you, the Iowa, but this is where you really want to live, and that's why we have so many people in California. Grew up playing Recreation Park Golf Course, a municipal golf course here in Long Beach. Been around since, I don't know, since the 20s, I think. You couldn't ask for a better place to grow up playing golf. I took a series of lessons from the pro there, and great group of characters to grow up with playing golf. Well, I went to Long Beach State. I played golf there for four years and never played in the NCAA tournament. I had minor success in college golf, and then I quit uh, got my degree. My goal was never to be a PGA Tour player. I think that's a, an absurd goal, because very few people are going to get that opportunity. My goal was to say, let's start out in January, and let's make sure you work as hard as you can to be a better player in December than you are in January. And to be honest with you, that's my goal every single year. When you're doing it, it doesn't really seem like 16 years. I never aged. I get to play a game for a living. Obviously, having children maybe changed that a little bit, but the reality is I'm still a kid, and so I don't really have this concept. These other people who would like to do what I do or watch what I do on TV probably say, wow, 16 years, but to me, I'm still a 15-year-old kid playing golf. Up next, local favorite Carl Peterson takes the title in Greensboro and makes a big move in the FedEx Cup standings. Inside the PGA Tour, brought to you by Mizuno, Extreme Distance, Extreme Forgiveness, the new MX-560. ProQuip USA, the fastest growing outerwear in golf. Who wants to be stranded with a flat tire? Changing tires out here could be dangerous, but with these tires, I don't need to worry. 
Well, I guess I'll be on my way. Bridgestone. Run flat tires. Bridgestone. 100. 100 years. That's how long we've been building your cars and trucks. Stitched into the fabric of our country. With cars like these. And like these. The widest selection of cars that get an EPA estimated 30 miles per gallon or better on the highway. More than Honda. More than Toyota. So, in celebration of our 100th anniversary. We're sharing our GM employee discount. You pay what we pay. Not a cent more. The GM employee discount. Need new clubs? Announcing the 2008 Lenny Tree PGA Tour giveaway. Get free Callaway golf equipment, like the award winning FTI driver and X20 irons, free when you close a loan with Lenny Tree, where our network of lenders has rates that beat the national average. Call 1 800 851 8680 or visit LennyTree.com slash PGA Tour. Now, when banks compete, you get free Callaway golf equipment. Customize your Puerto Rico vacation. Special offers from August 1st through November 30th. Book now on GoToPuertoRico.com. Puerto Rico, explore beyond the shore. What makes a season? One win? Three top tens? A season is a race that dares you to show up, dares you to play 33 weeks in a row. It's shutting up the critics. It's going from who to who knew. It's playing through major agony. It's 33 weeks down to four, down to one. What makes a season? Winning it all. The playoffs on Golf Channel. This is your time. Now go out there and take it. The competitor of the week presented by Lending Tree. On the strength of a tournament record, second round 61, Carl Peterson notched his third career PGA Tour victory at last week's Wyndham Championship. Leading by two shots to start the final round, the smooth swinging Swede came up big when it counted with three birdies and a four hole stretch on the back nine. With the final round 68, Peterson also established a new tournament record of 259, six better than fellow Swede Jesper Parnovic, whose market stood since 1999. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the 2007 Wyndham Championship winner, Brent Snedeker. Last Wednesday at the Wyndham Championship, defending champion Brant Snedeker and the King Arnold Palmer were on hand to kick off the Wyndham Rookie or Legend sweepstakes, which offered fans at the tournament a chance to win one of two customized golf carts designed to reflect the respective styles of the 2007 PGA Tour Rookie of the Year and one of the game's most beloved and revered champions. Also on Wednesday, the Wyndham Championship presented NASCAR driver Kyle Petty with a donation of $100,000 for his Victory Junction Camp, which benefits children with health issues. Petty also teed it up in the Pro-Am along with 07 Masters champion Zach Johnson. Wyndham does a lot with our race team, uh, with my father, with Richard Petty, and with our family in the Victory Junction game camp. Obviously, we travel a lot on the NASCAR circuit. I had an opportunity to play with Zach Johnson. He's a great guy. He's got the trophy and the green jacket from the Masters, so this has been a pretty cool day. Hey, I'm still playing with the original ball. That's a plus for me after nine holes. Winner of two PGA Tour events, including the 2006 Memorial Tournament from Raleigh, North Carolina, Carl Peterson. If Carl Peterson seemed right at home last week at the Wyndham Championship, well, it's probably because, in a way, he was. Born in Gothenburg, Sweden, Peterson moved to the States when he was only 15, when his father Lars took a job in North Carolina. Now a father of two himself, the 30-year-old three-time winner continues to make his home in the Tar Heel State, where he has lived now for half his life. I grew up in North Carolina and went to junior college in Alabama and now back in North Carolina. I started playing golf in Sweden when I was seven, eight years old. My dad played a lot of golf and uh, me and my brother took it up. 
That's where I got started in England, playing a lot of junior golf. I just started playing really well uh, right before we moved over here, and that's pretty much a scratch golfer. And I was dreaming of it. I don't know what you know, my, my dad thought about it, but you know, he encouraged me to play, and uh, it's always been a dream of mine to play uh, any professional sport, and golf is one I love. I thought I could do it. I really believed I could do it. It's a dream to do this for a job, and it's fantastic to be able to win tournaments, and you know, I can count my blessings. Carl Peterson. Winner of the Wyndham Championship 2008. His win at the Wyndham Championship ended Peterson's personal two-year drought that dated back to the 2006 Memorial Tournament. The week's been fantastic. I kept telling myself I could do it. It's been an unbelievable feeling today on the back line to really knuckle down and get it done. After a slow start to his 08 season, Peterson had been a steady climber in the FedEx Cup point standings since June, finishing 11th or better in three of his last six starts prior to the window. With the victory, Peterson jumped 45 spots to 13th in the standings, prime position to make a run at winning the FedEx Cup and a virtual lock to make his second career tour championship start. Yeah, I'm thrilled. I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon, but I, I'm pretty laid back. It takes a lot to get me going, and uh, this is fantastic. I relish this moment driving home, and uh, even right before I go to sleep, it will be an uh, unbelievable feeling. Yeah. Kenny Perry tops the final regular season list of FedEx Cup contenders, followed by Phil Mickelson, Padraig Harrington, and Anthony Kim, who all have multiple wins on the season. Peterson moves to just outside the top 10 with his victory at the Wyndham Championship, while Masters champion Trevor Immelman checks in at number 19. Only the top 30 in the FedEx Cup standings after the BMW Championship will advance to the final round of the PGA Tour playoffs for the FedEx Cup, the Tour Championship. While Peterson and Scott McCarron were battling for the Sam Snead Cup, there was plenty of drama throughout the week at the Wyndham Championship as players on the playoff bubble fought to secure a spot in the postseason. With a sizzling final round 62, J.J. Henry finished tied for fourth, vaulting 42 spots from 177th to 135th, earning his second straight playoff berth. One of last year's big playoff movers, Rich Beam, punched his ticket to the Barclays, climbing 52 spots with a pair of 63s on the weekend, moving all the way up to 114th in the standings. Lee Jansen's final round 67 was good enough for a tie for 15th, making the two-time U.S. Open champion the last man in at 144th in the FedEx Cup standings as he beat out South Korea's Y.E. Yang by a mere 20 points in the season-long race. 25-year-old Scott, Martin Laird, and American Justin Bowley secured playoff spots at the Wyndham, while 04 British Open champ Todd Hamilton was one of five who slipped out of the top 144 in the final week of the regular season. Coming up. Where was I inducted? Anybody know when I was inducted? 96. Hey, there you go. A stroll down memory lane with Paul Gordos of the Long Beach State University Hall of Fame. And on the Champions Tour, Fred Funk captures his first career major title at the Geldwen tradition. Fred Funk is a major champion. <laughs> Through drive and commitment, successes are achieved. That's why PGA Tour player Chad Campbell is a winner. And that's why Janny King proudly supports more than 12,000 franchise owners around the world, including those who clean up on the PGA Tour. Go with a proven winner. I have the drive, do you? Janny King, the king of clean. Everyone loves the story of an underdog. So here's one. A player who is questioning his future rededicates himself. He practices all winter by hitting golf balls in the snow. And each week, he gets a little bit better, until one day, he ends up winning his first ever playoff event. The end. As for the sequel, we'll see. Kenny Main on eight with Pete Cole. We're looking for players to test the new Top Flight Gamer. I like a three-piece. The Gamer is a three-piece. I'll try it. Hold on, Cowboy. You serious about the game? Yeah. Winner rules? Cheating. Gimmies? Make the putt. Mulligans. We found our guy. The new three-piece 
top flight gamer. Tour like spin and control. Legendary distance. Get your game on. So Looking for ways to relax? Stay at home and shop online with Overstock.com. Find brand names in clothing, electronics, sunglasses, and music, like Jason Mraz. Shop the back to school sale now. Let Overstock.com save you time and money. Stay at home with the O. Upgrade your equipment and save money with the Callaway Golf Trade-In Trade-Up Program at Callaway Golf Pre-Owned and Outlet. It's easy. Shop online or by phone. Ship us your old equipment and the box your new clubs arrive in, and then save when your trade-in value is applied to your purchase. Trade-In, Trade-Up through Callaway Golf Pre-Owned and Outlet. It's the smartest way to buy. Shop at CallawayGolfOutlet.com or call to speak with a Callaway Golf expert today. Callaway Golf Pre-Owned and Outlet, the hottest value for your game. Tour playoffs. For 33 weeks they fought, making the impossible look possible. They did it all for this. The Barclays begins Thursday at 2 and 7.30 on Golf Channel. Welcome to the campus of Long Beach State University. Behind me is the Pyramid. It's, a, it's Long Beach State's on-campus basketball facility. As good a place to watch a basketball game as you're going to find in college. We're here at the Long Beach State 49er Athletic Hall of Fame and in a down year for their invitees. They got this guy. I won at Bay Hill in 1996. You gotta have the King signature. I won, so obviously that was great. Don't get me wrong, but I hope it wasn't nothing to do with that goatee. That was hideous. You know, that's just the way it is. But, you know, being a member of the 49er Hall of Fame was a great honor. Again, we've had so many great athletes here at Long Beach State to have this thing on the wall is pretty special. Mark O'Meara. Two-time major champion here on the wall. He was inducted in the, I'm assuming, the inaugural class in 1986. Uh, what can you say? Marco Mira made Long Beach State golf. Misty May, Olympian, gold medal. Going to win another one probably here in Beijing. And you want to know where dirtbag baseball came from? Right here, this gentleman, <laughs> Dave Snow. Do you may know when I was inducted? Class of 96. 96. Hey, there you go. Class of 96, Hall of Fame is pretty special. We've had a long success of great athletics here at Long Beach State. This is wonderful community, diverse as you can get in this country, who supports those those people. We hear it all the time. He's a Long Beach guy, and you definitely get that in this city. But we definitely support our own. Heading into the final round of the 2008 Gelled Wen Tradition in Sun River, Oregon, Fred Funk found himself in unfamiliar territory. 54 hole leader in a major. Hot on his heels, entering the final round. Proven major champions like Tom Watson and Bernhard Langer, as well as 2006 Charles Schwab Cup champion Jay Haas, who began the day only a shot back. In the final round, Funk ran like he was being chased, going out in three under and birdieing three of his first six holes on the back nine, cruising to a five-shot victory. It feels good to actually win one of these majors. This might jump me up with the Schwab Cup, so I'm really looking forward to uh, finishing the year out on the Champions Tour and just rock and roll with it. Funk moves up to third in the Charles Schwab Cup standings behind Haas and Longer. Only seven events remain before the season-ending Charles Schwab Cup Championship. This week, the chase resumes in Snoqualmie, Washington at the Boeing Classic. Coverage begins Friday on the Golf Channel. Still ahead, we turn our attention to the Big Apple and round one of the PGA Tour playoffs for the FedEx Cup. And we'll break down the top contenders heading into the Barclays. Inside the PGA Tour, brought to you by Wind Grips. Wind Grips technology, building the ideal grip for every golfer. Mizuno's new MP57 irons, the most forgiving MP irons ever. So you like driving that thing? It's intense. Expensive to insure? No. What with nationwide, save like 500 bucks. 500 bucks? Yeah, it's great coverage. Really? I didn't know nationwide did that. Life comes at you fast. With nationwide insurance, you could save like 500 bucks on your auto coverage. Call 1877 on your side for a quote today. Nationwide Insurance, proud sponsor of the Nationwide Tour. 100. 
100 years. That's how long we've been building your cars and trucks. Standing the test of time. Stitched into the fabric of our country. And today, helping you at the pump with a wide variety of hybrids. One for every need. Honda can't beat us. Neither can Toyota. So, in celebration of our 100th anniversary, we're sharing our GM employee discount. You pay what we pay. Not a cent more. The GM employee discount. For everyone. Step up your game with a 2008 Lenny Tree PGA Tour giveaway. Get free Callaway golf equipment like the award winning FTI driver and X20 irons, free when you close a loan with Lenny Tree where our network of lenders has rates that beat the national average. Call 1-800-851-8680 or visit LendingTree.com slash PGA Tour. Now when banks compete, you get free Callaway golf equipment. Soft. Medium. Firm. I need control. I need comfort. I play the DSi for its soft, comfortable feel. I play the XI7 because it feels great and lets me control my shots. I play the new PCI for the control of cord and the comfort of polymer. Win Grips technology, building the ideal grip for every golfer. It's all about style. It's all about performance. It's all about results. Watch the PGA Tour playoffs in primetime, beginning Thursday at 7.30 on Golf Channel. The playoffs begin August 21st. Jana King presents Ready to Play. Out here on the PGA Tour, you need to be ready, even when your game's not 100%. So what we like to do is go back to square one. Wax on, wax off, brother. Wax it off. There you wax. Feel the fade, man. Feel the fade. There it is. Feel the fade. Now we're getting it back to where it needs to be. We're going to be ready. The 2008 PGA Tour playoffs for the FedEx Cup kick off Thursday on the Golf Channel with continuing coverage of the Barclays on the weekend on CBS Sports. With less than 48 hours until the start of the PGA Tour playoffs for the FedEx Cup, Inside breaks down the top five seeds, setting the stage in the Big Apple. With five top three finishes in 08, Stuart Sink has been one of the most consistent performers in this year's race for the FedEx Cup. The highlight of Sink's season came in June at the Travelers Championship, where four rounds in the 60s propelled the 35-year-old to his fifth career PGA Tour victory. Young gun Anthony Kim checks in as the fourth-ranked contender after enjoying a breakout campaign in 08. Notching a pair of victories in a five-week stretch, AK has embraced his role as one of the game's rising stars. I've played well enough this year that I don't have to worry about jockeying into position, but at the same time, you're always trying to move up and put myself in good positions, and that's all I'm asking myself. Number three. Third-ranked contender Padraig Harrington is riding high after becoming the first European ever to claim back-to-back -back major championships. One of the toughest closers in the game, the Irishman also leads the PGA Tour in scoring average. Number two. Phil Mickelson he is lighting it up. The number two contender, Phil the Thrill. Lefty has been in the zone in 08, finishing top 25 in 16 of 17 starts and conquering Riviera and Colonial in spectacular fashion. And at number one, the Franklin Flash. Man, it's hard to win out here. Making it look easy, Kenny Perry found redemption in 08, adding three trophies to his mantle for the second time in his career. 
48-year-old veteran still enjoys the spotlight, but isn't satisfied. Two years from the Champions Tour, you know, not many guys do anything at my age. It's pretty neat to have that record, the oldest guy ever to win three tournaments in a year. I've got to somehow stay motivated. Pretty incredible. Though sidelined as he rehabs from knee surgery, Tiger Woods finishes the regular season as the top seed entering the playoffs. The point differential after the reset is only half of what it was last season. Got the beach just half a mile over there. You can pull up to the bar here. Favorite beverage, for me, that's a Coca-Cola. You look up, it's from 1993. My first year on tour, Legends was kind enough to help me out a little bit. Basically, it was uh, wings. Come in here and eat wings while I was home for, uh, you know, for free, and then we put Legends on the bag. These are the best wings you know, I've ever had. You eat wings all over the country, they become a sports bar staple. Nobody has better wings than Legends. To be honest with you, 90% of the food I've ever eaten has been wings. Day four at the Players' Championship, and which players are at the top of the leaderboard? Well, how about Paul Goidos, the 169th ranked player in the world, who in nine previous attempts here has never finished higher than 38th, and who in 16 years on tour has won exactly twice. But through 54 holes, Goidos has finessed the course and charmed the galleries and the press with his self-deprecating style. Sergio Garcia, who faltered a bit yesterday, is still very much in the mix. He's three back of Goidos. Today, they'll battle each other, the rest of the field, and the elements. It is the very first 54-hole lead in his career in 392 PGA Tour events. The Players' Championship is the premier event on the PGA Tour. We have our four majors and then the players. And more people watch it. And I happen to have a good week. Good things were happening, and every time you win, every time you, you have a good finish, it's because good things happen. The putt doesn't go in on four, it probably goes to the friends. I got a 15-footer for par, but it did go in. Now it'll start picking up speed. Good line. Good line! Oh, my goodness! Those are things that need to happen for guys like me. Now, Tiger Woods, that may not be the case, but to be successful, we need good things to happen. The key is not to say, oh, God, this is my time. The key is to continue to take advantage, and that's what we tried to do, and we almost did it. We're about to feel this island green like we've never felt it before in this atmosphere, in a playoff. Got 128 yards on the 17th hole of nerve-wracking playoff action. This is just a little left of the hole if the distance is good. I can't believe the wind that hit that ball. You want to have a, a one-shot lead with no holes to play, and unfortunately I didn't get to that point. But in golf's a game, and we work hours and hours and hours, weeks and weeks and weeks to get to that point. And if you're not going to enjoy that point, then I think you wasted your 30 years of work. I mean, I understand that it's a job and we're trying to win, but if you're not going to enjoy climbing the mountain, don't climb the mountain. Sergio played great, uh, hit a great shot in the playoffs, and is a very worthy champion of that event. But I'm a little surprised by the fact that that finishing second in an event has been such a big deal. This is a golf ball from the final round of the Players' Championship, Mother's Day. You know, we put mom on the ball. 1992, the years my girls were born, going up in our little deal. We got a hat here from Wilson High School before I went to high school. And then this is actually a uh, pairing sheet from Sunday uh, for the players. It's got a chance. Yes! Paul Goidos. Golf ball going up. Here, so we have a little Paul Goidos memorial, for lack of a better word. Maybe we get a lay to put in there from winning Sony. You know? We've got the glove, the ball, the hat from Blair Chef. You can't beat that. I mean, you get your name up at, if you look around here, you get your name up at Legends. Just, you should just scan right around the corner here and see who's next to me. Muhammad Ali. I mean, that's the kind of people they have up here, and it's an honor. Well, thanks for watching this week's edition of Inside the PGA Tour. I hope you enjoyed this glimpse to the wonderful city of Long Beach. And I have no idea what else you want me to say. That's it for that's it. <laughs> that's it for this week's edition of Inside the PGA Tour. You know, I hope you enjoyed this glimpse into my hometown, Long Beach, California. And thanks again for watching. Next week on Inside the PGA Tour. Welcome to Greater New York. And the first stop.
of the PGA Tour Playoff or the FedEx Cup. We hit the Big Apple where champions are made. Round one of the Barclays at Ridgewood Country Club with our host, Yankee Hall of Famer, Yogi Berra. It's deja vu all over again. Previously on Highway 18, golf's ultimate...